on how to make millions of credits. This one is the third video in my series of how to make millions of credits patch 4.3. So patch 4.3 is upon us and so I'm going to be letting you guys know about some of the better deals that are going on on the GTN, things that maybe you should be looking out for on your own servers. I would recommend coming over to the Harbinger server where prices are always the lowest and you can find the better deals. So I'm letting you guys know about some of the things that I've been buying uh, which I'm hoping to make millions of credits off on in the future. So starting with the newest pack. Um, one of the things that I always look out for are the silver, are the silver uh, armor pieces that come out of this pack, and particularly, I'm really excited about the Zakul and Inquisitor armor set. I think it's a great looking armor set. Um, definitely something that I think people would be interested in buying. So I'm definitely keeping my eye out on those for the Wartime Ambassador. I'm only keeping an eye out for the upper body armor, as that's the only thing that really sticks out to me in this um, in this armor set. Uh, the Relentless Hunter armor set and the Jedi Strategist armor set are going for tons of credits on the GTN, so you're not going to find the best deals there. Alright, so um, getting in uh, onto it, if you see here, there's a cool and Inquisitor. Um, I am picking out the upper body armor and the supplementary body armor. So as you can see here, they're going for really uh, low amount of credits. That's perfectly fine. I'm totally... Um, uh, willing to buy it at this price so I'm picking up all the supplementary body armor because once again it contains the headgear and that's what I'm looking for I don't really care about the belt or the bracers I just care about the headgear so as you can as you can see here I'm just gonna pick them all up and I'm hoping that maybe I could uh, in a few months once the pack gets embargoed and uh, these items become a little bit oh whoops I think I've bought a few lower body armors oh well um, I'm, I'm hoping that um, uh, when the pack gets embargoed and these items become a little more rare, that people are going to be willing to pay a few hundred thousand credits for it. And um, I'm hoping to buy those. If you guys know, in some, in some of my more... Um, in a, a video I did a long time ago, um, there was a certain armor piece that I um, highlighted, and that was the Revenite Pursuer armor piece. And that's what I draw a little bit of inspiration from, because that was one of the things where I thought, oh my gosh, I lost so many credits. If you look at the Revenite Pursuer, um, the armor pieces themselves, as you can see, still aren't selling for that much. You can get um, get a few hundred thousand off selling the breastplate, but the helmet, as you, oh well, that's pretty low, three hundred fifty thousand. But if you look at the majority of the helmets here, they're selling for a ton of credits, a ton of credits. And when the uh, when the pack first came out, and when I bought a few of these, I was buying them for fifteen thousand, twenty thousand credits each. And now, as you can see here, if I had a uh, held on to those, I would be able to sell them for a ton of credits, so uh, that's why I kind of keep my eye, eye out on these um, on these armor pieces, because I want to be picking them up when, the, when they're cheap, so I can sell them for tons of credits later on. Okay, so that's the first thing I look out for. I, I look out for those deals. I'm definitely um, uh, buying the supplementary body armor, because I think the helmet looks great, and so I want to, um, let's get rid of these males, I want to uh, definitely hold on to those. Okay, Moving on, another deal that I'm looking at is the, as you can see here, I've, I've got a few of these, the Zakul Knight Captain's Breastplate. I picked these up for under 200,000 credits. So um, that's another deal that I've been looking at. I think the chess piece itself, I think the chess piece itself looks really cool, um, and uh, I think it's going to sell for tons of credits. It is a gold armor piece, but I have been able to pick it up for under 200,000 credits. Now one quick tip is, as you can see here, these are selling for a ton of credits. Um, and I got lucky when I found these deals, but if you just go to the upper, so if you go to the Cool Knight Captain's upper instead of the breastplate, then you'll find these boxes, and, um, and well, this is for 1.5 million, but when, uh, because I bought up all of them, but, um, but these often sell for, sell for less than, uh, than these sing single item pieces, so you might want to be uh, keeping an eye out on those and picking them up. As you can see here, I have a ton that I bought off the GTN, all of these for under 200,000 credits. And if I if I just sold it now, I'd probably make a huge profit, but I'm going to hold on to it, hopefully sell it for a few more million when the time comes. Uh, one one deal, as you can see here, I'm, I'm looking at are the Cave Raticus and the Hinterland White Fang, and those are silver mounts that are coming out of the Disavowed packs, and these often go for very cheap. So let's see what the deals are now. The Cave Raticus is at 290k and the hinterland white fang is at uh, 290k okay so so the price of these often fluctuates like this but i have been picking these up for under 200,000 credits i have picked up uh, cave romanticus for 150,000 credits 
I've seen them go as low as that. Uh, I've seen these go as low as 90,000 credits. And so when they do drop that low, I'm definitely picking them all up as many as I can. As you can see here, I'm racking up a ton. And this is just on this character. I have tons on other characters. Um, and so um, that's another deal I'm looking at. As always, I'm keeping, keeping an eye out for the classic Vibra Swords. Uh, if you keep, if you should just keep an eye out uh, because you'll often find that the, the actual classic Viber Sword, which is uh, a really uh, a, quite a rare item and, and very much in demand, as you can tell by its price, it jumps up to five hundred thousand credits, while everything else you can pick up for twenty thousand. Um, sometimes you'll find people put these up for like twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand credits. Not quite sure why, but it happens more often than you think. And so I'm always keeping an eye out and picking up those deals. Um, and then, oh, of course, we're also checking out the Wartime Ambassador Upper Body Armor. So I just do Wartime Upper. And you can see the Wartime Ambassador Upper Body Armor. 40,000 credits is a little bit too much. I'd wait for it to drop uh, low as 25,000 to 20,000 credits, just like the Zakulin Inquisitor Supplementary Body Armor dropped. And then I'll pick those up. Now, one thing um, you might want to keep an eye out for is the Exiled Knights. I bought up a bunch of these, and they are just so cheap. But um, but um, I, I would well I wouldn't pick up the supplementary because it doesn't contain the headgear. But I'm only going for the upper with this armor set. Um, so the upper body armor right now is eighty five thousand, but it doesn't stay at that price at all. Usually it drops as low as ten thousand, fifteen thousand credits. And when it does, um, there's just so many, and uh, I want to buy it, but um, but I run out of cargo space so quickly. So I'm actually limited by the my cargo space, but um. But definitely, um, that's another good deal to look at because the upper body armor looks quite cool, and with that low price of fifteen thousand credits, you'll definitely pull a really nice profit. Now, the other two things that I have my eye on are the uh, pets. So the core slug handler license. I'm buying this one when it drops below two mil. Uh, it does do that t often, so uh, I'd wait for it to drop below two mil and I pick them up. And the other one is the warbot. And as you can see here, when it drops below uh, 1 mil, I pick it up. So I'm not too concerned with if it's at 1.248 mil. Like, no, I just wait for it till it drops below 1 million. And then that, that's just kind of my rule. I pick it up when it's below 1 million. So that's a pretty good deal. Definitely be, be able to sell that for millions when the pack gets embargoed. All right. Um, moving on to some more items that are out of the pack. Um, now, because this pack just came out recently, the Visionary pack, uh, the items are still kind of at their highest. Um, so if you look at something like the Marsh Hunter Ackley, if you look at something like the Marsh Hunter, it's at 3.9 million credits, or 4 million credits, basically. And... Um, and one thing that you should keep in mind is with all these gold mounts, right when the pack comes out, they often are very, very uh, expensive. And there are, and the reason they're at that price is because people do buy it. I sold a, my Marsh Hunter Axe on the Bedroom Colony for 7 million credits. And I sold it at that price because I knew that as with the other gold items from every other pack, they usually drop as low as 2 million. And so... Um, and so I'm waiting for this Marsh Hunter Ackley to drop that low, and definitely when it drops closer to 2 million, I'll be picking up as many of them as I can, because I think it's just such an awesome mount. I think it's going to be really popular, and so that's, that'll be a great deal, but I know for a fact it's going to drop as low as 2 mil, because all the other gold items have. If you, if you look at something like the Vectron Vertica, this was just like the Marsh Hunter Ackley, starting at... Um, that high of a price and it didn't drop in the first few weeks of the pack's release but now it's dropped as low as 2.5 million and as you can see I am picking them up when they drop as when they drop lower than 2 million I'm also keeping my eye on the Savage Nexu which I haven't actually picked one up yet because it hasn't dropped lower than 2 million but I'm just waiting because I'm not gonna buy it at, at um, a higher price than I need to I know it's gonna drop lower than 2 million and when it does I'll be picking that up as well however the ones that do drop below 2 million are the Swamp Rancor from the Anarchist pack, as you can see here, drops crazy low and you just pick it up. When it drops below 2 million, just pick it up. That's just such a great deal. Honestly, Rancor is very popular amounts. You can sell them for millions in the future. Uh, this is just so cheap. So definitely, when it drops below uh, 2 million credits, pick it up. And I, I just keep that as a rule with uh, any of the of the gold um, mounts that come out of this pack and you sh and also you know which gold mounts are good. Like Something like the Nexu and the Vectron Vertica are good mounts. The other things like the I'll show you guys 
because you don't want to buy bad mounts for for that high price things like um these although yeah it's a gold mount and maybe it's popular maybe people want to buy it these tend to drop very low um in the disavowed pack the crappy mount was uh this Orlean Wastelander you can pick it up for 300k I've seen it go as low as 300k for the anarchist pack I've seen the Zakul luxury sidecar go as low as 300k like these are gold these are gold um uh, mounts and they're very rare uh, you know, you don't get them that often. Same with the Prairie Kai Buck. You don't get it very often, but um, but they just don't sell well in the GTN at all. So, um, and then the Revolution. Let's go up here. So I'm also keeping my eye out on these. Uh, and when they, and I'm not even if it's at two mil, I just don't buy it. I just wait till it drops below 1.9 mil as as a personal rule. And that's what I would suggest to you guys. If this drops below two mil, that's also a very good deal. Um, finally, let's end it with. The wrapped. This was from the. Um, these are just such great deals. This is from the visionary pack, as you can see, dropping low, as low as twenty five thousand credits. So I'm picking that up. Now, normally I would pick um pick up all of these, but uh, but looking at how cheap they're going for, um, I just have a feeling that I should maybe wait a little bit and um and let this drop because you know the if you keep buying things for fifty five thousand credits it eventually racks up and also I'm gonna run out crazy I, I I already ran out of storage space on this character I'm gonna run out of storage spaces on other characters so I have to just um be a little careful with how many of these that I buy because if you keep it in your mail for too long it eventually gets deleted so um so I'm not going to be picking those up but definitely if you have a few credits and you're looking for you only have a few credits and you're looking for a good investment with uh and you don't have to spend millions of credits to do it these are good these are good investments the other one is the this one's from the anarchist pack this is also a very good buy uh I'd buy this low uh, this has gone below 50,000 credits so I'd wait till it goes that low and then I'd buy it up this is definitely going to drop. This is actually this is actually quite expensive for this. Uh, I've bought a bunch of them for much cheaper. Um, so those right now are some of the better deals. Th those right now are some of the better deals um, that I've been looking at. As you can see, here, I have tons of them. I have tons of old these. I've been buying them up like crazy. So um, those are some of the better deals that you should be looking out for on the GTN right now. Um, that that's kind of a good range of of items. So I, there's some very expensive items. So if you have millions of credits and you're looking to uh, invest those, so that those credits will eventually become even more millions of credits in the future, uh, you have things like the Swap Rank Core and, and other gold items to buy. If you have only a few credits and um, you know you're only looking to put in 100,000 credits or 200,000 credits, um, there are also some nice silver mounts and silver armor sets that you should be looking at. But those are some of the better deals uh, as as of patch 4.3. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped. Any questions, leave it in the comment section. I will answer. I'll see you in the next video.